Brothers, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it, but one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and straining towards what is ahead, I press on towards the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. Welcome everybody to the New Year's Resolutions version of Life with Gwen and Joe. I'll keep shining my light, shining my light. Life with same, God is so good. And I'm thankful for so come join us on this fun life where we put God in the center of everything. Yeah. Keep shining my light. As we close the door on 2019 and open up a new chapter for 2020, many of you may be having those thoughts of having a resolution or something you really want to get fixed or some goal that you want to meet in 2020. And that's what we're going to talk about today. I've been working on my list. Have you worked on your list for New Year's resolutions? I've been working on a few things. I've been thinking about goals that I want to meet this year and uh, just how to get those things done. It's exciting that God gives us this ability to change and that all of us can do it so that no one's left behind. I mean, that is really cool. It would be really sad if he gave the ability to, for Joe to change, but I can't change. Or for me to change, and he can't change. But as it is, we both can change, and that way we can do it together. Which is always really fun. You know, the gratification that comes out of setting a goal for yourself and then meeting that goal is, is really an amazing thing. Conversely, setting goals for yourself, like setting a resolution and then kind of having it fritter out along the way can really kind of put you in a downward spiral towards not really achieving that goal. So maybe we could talk today a little bit about how to stay on track with your resolutions, with your goals in your life. From 1 Corinthians 15, 58, it says, Therefore, my dear brothers, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord, because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. No, it's not in vain. If it's labor in the Lord, so there it goes back to that same thing. Why are you even doing anything that you do? And why would you do what's right when the whole world's tempted you and your own desires are tempting you to go the easy way and to be lazy and gluttonous and, you know, give up? I mean, that's all gluttony is, is giving up. I mean, when you mess up at, at night, it just means I give up. And when you're uh, given in to talking too much or whatever your goals may be. I mean, there's so many lusts out there, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye, the pride of life. That sums up the three categories, but it's, it's lust, flesh, lust, eye, pride of life, which is huge. Um, pride of this life versus the life living for God. So it, to me, keeps going back down to that thing. But we can't give up. Why would we give up if you're doing it for God? There is no giving up. The only way you'd give up is if you were doing it for yourself. So do you want a New Year's resolution to last? Then you're doing it for God. And this year is gonna be the year that you do it. Absolutely. Okay, there's a bunch of guys out there and you wanna tell them to keep going for it. What are you gonna tell them? Well, uh, first of all, before I ever say things like this, I realize that I'm talking to myself as well. So I'm not just saying these things without uh, me trying to hear what I'm saying to, to other people, but guys, set those resolutions for yourself in the new year with all the passion that, that you have in the beginning. It, this has happened to me somewhere between the, 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 the beginning and the middle or the beginning and the end, something happens and we don't really follow through with it. And that can leave you feeling kind of like, you know, kind of down that you, you, you didn't have enough self-discipline or enough conviction for the things that you really feel that are important. So uh, I just implore you to just forge on, pray about these things. It's, it's really in so many places in the Bible where it talks about having God's conviction to carry on, to stay motivated, and, to, and to, to keep up the fight. Like I said, the gratification towards meeting goals that you set for yourself it is an amazing feeling. It's beautiful. <clears throat> and when you know that it's pleasing God, mm. you know it's everything. It's everything Amen. Amen. it's everything do you have a new year's resolution my new year's resolution is to remember that jesus christ had one focus and so i want to have that one focus i want to be more humble and i want to be a light in my home so that i can pass it down to my children it cannot get better than that absolutely incredible that's very inspiring one focus i am just resolved to just get 
closer to God and my house to be known for purity and for prayer and humility and servanthood and just joy. Nothing but joy this year in my household. Getting together with, with the family and reading and just uh, focusing and having that uh, Bible time with each other. I have been praying for, to God for more wisdom. I want to be a better mom, be a better member of my household, and just have a better relationship with God. So that those are my New Year's resolutions. Making sure that I'm waking up wanting to do God's will in every area and then looking to God for how to meet Odie's needs and then in turn able to meet all my kids' needs. Just in getting low, being very prayerful and very attentive to what God would want. I was very impacted specifically by um, the life with Gwen and Joe about the husband being a protector. Um, and uh, it really stood out to me just how um, I could do a better job with protecting my wife's feelings and her emotions. And so I, I specifically wanted to make sure that you know, as I'm putting the fruits of the Spirit into a practice that um, for the next year that I'm more focused on taking the time out and, um, and making sure that she knows that her values are being valued um, and that she is absolutely 100% uh, loved and taken care of. The Proverbs 31 wife um, episode was absolutely amazing and so after seeing that I have definitely felt convicted to go even further and making sure that I give him a reason to open up my doors and to um, play with me and, and just chase me around the house and dance with me <laughs> and so <laughs> it's just to be so to have so much fun and I want to make my life more filled with the wonder of God like with everything that he does to be amazed at his majesty that's 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 my resolution. Absolutely incredible. Glory to God. I want to get in the class constantly. Like I want to be in a class because it's those questions, those questions that are constantly like just trying to make you look back at yourself and reflect, okay, am I doing this right? That's an awesome understanding of class that the whole idea, those workbooks and everything going on is looking inward. My New Year's resolution is to build spirit days, purity spirit days, and to get back up faster. Um, not to stay down as long and then journal it out so that I can fight the fight <laughs> and be more in love with God. But. Amazing. You know, these people are absolutely amazing. <laughs> we are so proud of you. We love you guys. My resolution this year is to make sure that I'm definitely going all in and definitely putting God's house first. That's, that's it. Totally zeroed in and focused. I love it. Our resolve is to be more like Gwen and Joe this year. <laughs> That's, yeah, that, that's, uh, and of course, to just be more godly in our daily walk. We want to make sure that we're leading our grandchildren the right way, that we're, we're helping our children to be more godly parents, and just doing more for God's church. To be resolved, to follow Christ, to be resolved, to be more like these examples that um, you're clearly amazingly in love with God. So we want to fall more in love with God this year. What is your New Year's resolution? It's the year of 2020, and I just felt like symbolically that was like getting a spiritual 2020 vision of just getting it perfect and getting it like getting a perfect vision for God and just wanting to make sure that there's just nothing in front of that relationship with God. And I love what you say in the intro of the show where God is in the center of everything, and that is what we're running after. That's what I want. 2020 vision. Let's have a 2020 vision. And let that vision be that we all are asking every day, God, bring the lights into my life. God, get me around those that convict me. God, bring it on. Bring it on. Clean it up. I want every day to make your load lighter while you have the few minutes on earth to breathe. And that's my prayer for this calendar year 2020 vision for our God Almighty. In Jesus' name, we pray this. Amen. What did you feel about when we were talking to everybody and their New Year's resolutions? I, I thought it was amazing. I, 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 what was amazing that people are still going to make New Year's resolutions because all the stats are saying that people are kind of giving up. They're giving up on weight loss and I don't know, they're not going there anymore. But you know what? I There's some kind of energy inside of me right now that is like, 
I feel like I want to do more for God, more for His church, more for His people than I ever have before. And uh, a lot of t times at this time of life, people are like starting to retire. And, uh, you know, but I, I feel like I'm going for it. So. Well, let me be the first one to, to say that keeping up with Gwen is, is very difficult. She's got more energy than like three or four people. But um, usually um, uh, when I think about making the New Year's resolution for myself, I think about making sure that when, I, when I'm dealing with situations throughout the day in the new year, that I use God's filter to make sure that I'm being as Christ-like as I can when I'm dealing with, with various things throughout the day. And I think that would be one of the things that <clears throat> really stands out for me is, is because when the pressure's on and when life's situations come up, we just want to make sure that we start off our process of dealing with those things in the right way. So I think that's what would be my New Year's resolution would, would be to make sure that I'm taking those thoughts captive and I'm channeling my energy down the right path through God's filter to make sure that I don't um, go off in the wrong direction with my thinking. That is so beautiful. That is so beautiful. And I, I just feel like God has been so cheated all these centuries, and Jesus Christ has been so misunderstood and cheated that this is exciting for us to be able to, like, even have a chance to throw everything we've got to, to go for it. And I can't tell you, I really am excited about doing it with you. You give me more energy. I love you, darling. You give me more energy and support than by 1,000 men. So I, I, praise, I praise God for this man. My biggest supporter, and uh, we just want to thank you again for watching. And Joe and I want to pray that you guys have the most powerful New Year's ever. Happy New Year's! I love this lady right here. I love this lady right here. Do you see this lady standing next to me? Do you see this? Hey, happy New Year to you. Happy New Year to you too. One more. What are we doing? A whoop. Oh, a whoop. I'll a do whoop. it with you. One, two, go for it. It's a woo! <laughs> be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell so you are notified when we have a new video. Ring that bell. Thankful for living. Thankful for living. Thankful for living. Yeah. Shining my light, living my life.